Yo, what is going on guys? Warprogs here and welcome to the channel. Um, today's a very, very sad day indeed. One of our beloved content creators and anti-crown store enthusiasts, Sawman UK, aka Doggo, has officially been banned. Um, though it is only for 72 hours, so it's not that big a deal, but the next time it happens, it's more than likely going to be a perma ban. So what did Sawman get a uh, ban for you guys may have guessed it teabagging apparently it's harassment it's judged on a case by case basis so if you go and check out Solman's video he'll kind of explain it a little bit more in depth but what i want to point out in this video is what a, an absolute a pile of dog crap the tos is dina bruno has even went on record to saying that you will not be banned for teabagging is taken completely is a case by case is taken in context so when you go check out Solomon's video i suggest you do that before you come back and finish the rest of this one he didn't do anything there's no malicious messages i mean there's nothing right i mean there's usually three sides of a story there's there's their story there's the other person's story and then there's actually how it went right but i believe Solomon and even though he may be very passive aggressive, he does have a lot of good points and he is really, really good about articulating his thoughts and the way he feels about ESO and rightfully so. Um, Zenimax is not treated the new player base, nor the PvP community, or nor the community in general very, very well in the, the past couple of years. Um, it's natural for me to be frustrated about it. You saw my Rich Lambert video, which was not very professional but again i'm very passionate about the game and i have a lot to say and so does everyone else who genuinely cares about pvp now a lot of y'all you either hate sawman or you love sawman so sawman is a good content creator in my opinion guys i have absolute respect for the dude and he does have a very unique approach about bringing real issues to light in, in very comical constructive manner so you have to respect that whether he's toxic and serial or whatever or not that's completely different now let me explain why i think this is not a bannable offense so i used to play a game called hyperscape if you guys do not know what hyperscape is it is like a futuristic tron type of battle royale um it's very awesome and I don't know why the game didn't take off first of all like it was very popular on twitch for a little while the viewers could actually control the way the matches were going so if there was like very popular streamers in a match you could actually vote while you're like watching the twitch stream you could vote on how you want the developers to mess up the map whether you want them to have insta kills or low gravity or it was a really awesome concept it allowed the viewers to interact with the game to completely change the way the match is going just randomly is pretty awesome destructive environment like it very cool but they have a mode called teabag confirmed okay if a video game can have a mode specifically so teabag confirmed is when you get a kill the only way to get points is if you run to their body and you teabag if a game can have that as a game mode right is obviously not sexual harassment otherwise how else would they get away with it okay it's not toxic yeah it's kind of bad mannerism but let's be real guys he bags have been around since the good old days of halo it's nice friendly competition it's not mean to be sexual in any way it's just a way to really mess with your opponent and just, just mind games really i mean that, that's what it boils down to and people get off on getting triggered by tea bags i mean me myself i i'm i'm no saint i tea bag okay if there's very few people I team back, right? But um, I do it primarily just to get a reaction. I hope they mess with me, right? That That's what fulfills my day sometimes. Because sometimes, guys, I get zerged down all the time. I get stream sniped all the time. So every now and then your boy Horprex has to have a little bit of redemption, right? So um, being banned, well, getting back to the main point of the video, getting banned for teabagging is stupid. Is absolutely stupid. The only reason I think they gave him a 72 hour ban without perma banning him because they can't just perma ban you without giving you some sort of warning or official notice or at least a, a temporary suspension, which is what he's undergoing for the next 72 hours. So I'm sure the next time it happens, he will be perma banned. But I think the reason, if you've not saw, seen Sawman's video about the, the devs getting triggered, I know the devs have seen this. I know that. I'm just going to theorize and say that there's a little bit of malicious intent behind this. I'm not going to lie to you because 
Thawman's message is really pushing that the crown store is malicious, and which it is, especially to newer players. Um, the prices are outrageous. It's 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 just it's it's damn near immoral. Um, I mean, let's be honest. I don't think there's a person that's watching this video is going to disagree with me. Um, the crown store just needs completely updated and overhauled. Some of the items need removed. The prices need to be reined in. It it it's pretty nutty, pretty absurd. They put these high prices in there just to price gal just see what people will buy there's plenty of studies there's plenty of data they have to go on so they know exactly how much they can charge for these items to get the most bang for their buck Zenimax, well bethesda was one of the very first video games to ever put micro transaction transactions in any game if you go back and play elder scrolls oblivion they put in horse armor it's elven horse armor for like five dollars and yes you best bet i bought that right so that was kind of like the beginnings to the end with the, the whole micro transactions so what I'm trying to say is Bethesda is a leader in microtransactions. They know exactly what they're doing, and you're a fool if you don't think that. So, long story short, guys, Solomon got banned. It sucks. He'll, he'll be back in a couple of days. You know, no big. I'm sure he'll have. I'm sure he's going to appreciate the content thereof and the backlash from that. But my overall message is that if you get banned for teabagging, that's not okay. Like, that is such a crush, and I believe they honestly banned him just because he does have a lot of unpopular opinions, and the devs just don't like that dude. Uh, rightly so, because, you know, he's calling them out on their bullshit. So, uh, this has just been my take on it. I know this is kind of a lackluster content for me. You know, this is really PvP-oriented, more drama-oriented, and I try not to drive the channel around that right, but... Um, he's a really good influencer. I wish a lot of people would kind of speak up the way Sawman does. A lot of people are just very slow to react about it they don't want to push zos you know you know they don't push the buttons in the wrong way but uh smaller channels uh we, we don't mind speaking up for the masses right that's that's kind of what we do you know, sacrificial lambs if you will so with all that being said guys huge shout out to my patrons and also my youtube community members thank you all so much sorry for putting it at the end i actually forgot about it until just now but uh yeah it's been horcrux and have a great weekend i'll be streaming this weekend probably be doing a gold giveaway so if you want to be around for that, please like and subscribe so you're notified when I go live so you don't miss the gold giveaway. Alright guys, peace.